So, obviously, so now I'm going to begin with a little discussion, okay, to further cement this in our brains, okay, uh, this uh, idea of positive and negative numbers, where they come from, okay. Now, obviously, the actual reality of the story is lost to history, but we can imagine that a long time ago, um, humans needed to count stuff, and in fact, some of the earliest pieces of writing, so for example, from ancient Babylon, uh, which was written in cuneiform on clay tablets, actually consist of besides beautiful works of literature like Gilgamesh, um, they also include, a large portion of it includes um, basically tally marks of, um, or not tally marks, but basically um, accounting, if you want to put it this way, of things that were being uh, uh, traded, uh, the terms of sale, um, and things that needed positive numbers. Oh, I want to buy three cows, for example or I want to buy two jugs of water, or whatever the case may be. So numbers naturally came up, and the idea of positive numbers makes sense, right? And so, and so now, so positive numbers are very natural to us. I look at this pen, and I can see I have one pen in front of me, right? But then, people realize that we might want to communicate some kind of lack or some kind of um, opposite measurement to a positive number, right? If I give you $2, you might say that your quantity of money has increased by $2, but how am I gonna communicate the same, The how am I gonna communicate the other side? Well, I'm gonna say that I lost $2. So this idea of capturing that idea, that I, this idea of capturing that loss or that lack led to negative numbers. We can also think of it in terms of like uh, a direction. If I'm walking upstairs, let's say that's the positive direction, then walking downstairs would be the negative direction. So if I go five steps up, that would be plus five, for example. And if I go five steps down, that would be negative five, for example. Now you can see something else. What if I don't move at all on this staircase? If I don't move at all, I can't express that with a positive number or a negative number. If I say negative one, I've moved down one step. If I say one, I've moved up one step, and so forth. So much further along in India, um, a mathematician realized that there had to be this, this special number to represent that idea. And they labeled it zero, okay? And so at, and so at some point, humans came up with the positive numbers, the negative numbers, and zero. And so we're gonna represent that as follows. This is my number line, okay? It's zero. I can represent the positive to the right, and you will see in all the diagrams that I ever do as far as the number line is concerned, that to the right, I will draw the positive, and to the left, we'll draw a negative, okay? Like this, okay? And so this is my number line, okay? And it's going to be the foundation for our mental model of um, how to add and subtract uh, positive and negative numbers. And um, before we do so, we're going to learn to represent positive and negative numbers uh, using a number line.